Curcumin is a diroleptinoid. It is the principal curcuminoid of the popular South Asian spice turmeric, which is a member of the ginger family. Turmeric's other two curcuminoids are desmethoxycurcumin and bisdesmethoxycurcumin. The curcuminoids are natural phenols that are responsible for the yellow color of turmeric. Curcumin can exist in several tautomeric forms, including a 1,3 diketo form and 2 equivalent enol forms. The enol form is more energetically stable in the solid phase and in solution. Curcumin can be used for boron quantification in the curcumin method. It reacts with boric acid to form a red color compound, rosocyanine. Curcumin is a bright yellow color and may be used as a food coloring. As a food additive, its E number is E100. Chemistry Curcumin incorporates several functional groups. The aromatic ring systems, which are phenols, are connected by two I plus or minus, I squared unsaturated carbonyl groups. The dictones form stable enols and are readily deprotonated to form enolates. The I plus or minus, I squared unsaturated carbonyl group is a good Michael acceptor and undergoes nucleophilic addition. The structure was first identified in 1910 by Jamie Ober unregistered trademark DZKA, Stanis I. Kostanicki and Victor Lamp. Curcumin is used as an indicator for boron. Biosynthesis, the biosynthetic root of curcumin has proven to be very difficult for researchers to determine. In 1973, Ruffley and Whiting proposed two mechanisms for curcumin biosynthesis. The first mechanism involved a chain extension reaction by cinnamic acid and 5 molanil coa molecules that eventually aralyzed into a curcuminoid. The second mechanism involved two cinnamate units coupled together by molanil coa. Both mechanisms use cinnamic acid as their starting point, which is derived from the amino acid phenylalanine. This is noteworthy because plant biosynthesis employing cinnamic acid as a starting point are rare compared to the more common use of picumaric acid. Only a few identified compounds, such as anagorfun and pinosylvin, use cinnamic acid as their start molecule. An experimentally back route was not presented until 2008. This proposed biosynthetic route follows both the first and second mechanisms suggested by Rawley and Whiting. However, the labeling data supported the first mechanism model in which 5 molanil CoA molecules react with cinnamic acid to form curcumin. However, the sequencing in which the functional groups, the alcohol and the methoxy, introduce themselves onto the curcuminoid seems to support more strongly the second proposed mechanism. Therefore, it was concluded the second pathway proposed by Ruffley and Whiting was correct. Preliminary research for potential health effects. Research has identified curcumin as the agent responsible for most of the biological activity of turmeric. Laboratory research shows that curcumin is a pleiotropic molecule possibly capable of interacting with molecular targets involved in inflammation. In vitro, curcumin modulates the inflammatory response by downregulating the activity of cyclooxygenase 2, lipoxygenase, and inducible nitric oxide synthase enzymes and inhibits several other enzymes involved in inflammation mechanisms. A systematic review of the use of curcumin-based supplements for treating diabetic wounds found no significant positive outcome for human use. The effectiveness of curcumin has neither been confirmed in sufficient preliminary research nor been conclusively demonstrated in randomized, placebo-controlled, double-blind clinical trials. A survey of the literature shows a number of other potential uses and that daily doses over a three-month period of up to 12 grams proved safe. Clinical trials in humans are studying the effect of curcumin on various diseases, including multiple myeloma, pancreatic cancer, myelodysplastic syndromes, colon cancer, psoriasis, arthritis, major depressive disorder and Alzheimer's disease. A number of trials studying curcumin efficacy and safety revealed poor absorption and low bioavailability. Methods to possibly increase absorption and systemic bioavailability are under study, including combined administration with piperin and quercetin. Bioavailability In phase I clinical trials, dietary curcumin was shown to exhibit poor bioavailability. Potential factors that limit the bioavailability of curcumin include insolubility in water poor absorption, 
rapid metabolism and systemic elimination. Numerous approaches to increasing curcumin bioavailability have been explored, including the use of absorption factors such as piperin. Because of his stability and physical properties, pure curcumin can be vaporized or smoked, obviating the need for oral absorption factors. The Zeroa, however, carries higher risk of chelating iron from hemoglobin, and potentially higher risk of carcinogenicity. The bioavailability of curcumin ingested in foods may be increased as a result of cooking or dissolution in oil. Resistance Overexpression of the ATP binding cassette gene ABCA1 has been reported to confer resistance to curcumin in terms of NFCARPA B activation that can be reversed by ABCA1 silencing. Potential risks and side effects Curcumin and turmeric are considered safe under conventional daily consumption amounts for most adults. Effects of curcumin may be interpreted as a double-edged sword, whereby, in vitro, carcinogenic and pro-oxidant effects may be seen in addition to anti-cancer and antioxidant effects. Carcinogenic effects are inferred from interference with the p53 tumor suppressor pathway, an important factor in human colon cancer. In vitro and in vivo studies suggest that curcumin can have carcinogenic effects. Clinical studies in humans with high doses of curcumin have shown few side effects, with some subjects reporting mild nausea or diarrhea. More recently, curcumin was found to alter iron metabolism by chelating iron and suppressing the protein hopidin, potentially causing iron deficiency in susceptible patients. Further studies seem to be necessary to establish the benefit-risk profile of curcumin. There is no or little evidence to suggest the curcumin is either safe or unsafe for pregnant women. However, there is still some concern that medicinal use of products containing curcumin could stimulate the uterus, which may lead to a miscarriage, although there is not much evidence to support this claim. According to experiments done on rats and guinea pigs, there is no obvious effect on the pregnancy rate or number of live or dead embryos. Curcumin has embryotoxic and teratogenic effects on zebrafish embryos. Possible diagnostic use Preliminary research has found that curcuminoid binds to amyloid proteins associated with Alzheimer's disease. Because curcumin increases fluorescent activity after it binds to amyloid protein, curcumin is being studied as a possible identifier. Tests have detected amyloid proteins in human eyes, offering the possibility that simple eye exams could provide early detection of the disease. References, Notes External links, Turmeric and Curcumin, from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, Turmeric and Curcumin, from MD Anderson Cancer Center, Turmeric, from the University of Maryland Medical Center.